Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the unboxing for the June Box of Dread. Um, it's late because uh, the box didn't show up late. It's I'm late on unboxing this because I was out on vacation when the box showed up in my house. So not the fault of Box of Dread or John. John, if I haven't said it enough on these unboxing videos for Box of Dread, you're doing an awesome job. You're getting stuff out. You're getting good stuff out. And it's just you. Um, for people who don't know, it's one dude uh, from Dread Central, John, who's doing all this Box of Dread stuff. And it's cool, and it's cheap, and he does a really good job. And when I say cheap, I mean the price of the box is cheap, but it's good stuff. So anyway, always excited for this box. This is the June one. These don't have themes. Um, I'm fine with that. I actually don't care about themes. Sometimes it's cool when themes are done, but overall, I, not a big deal for me. So let's check this out. It's a different, it's like a different shaped box every time too, which is fun. Oh my God, get this open. All right, here we go. Let's get in there. Ooh, it feels like there might be like a pop in there. I think the box opened up on my pop. All right, I'm gonna do, it's a poster. Let me do this poster first. Uh, I think the last poster was the Necronomicon page poster, which is really cool. Um, I think I want to get that frame. That's a really awesome one. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is also an awesome one. The Howling. I love The Howling. The Howling is my favorite werewolf movie. Now, this is for the board game, though. Apparently, it's a board game. Let's see if I can get better lighting on that if I get closer. Yeah, you can see it all right from there. You can see the Howling. It's a lot like the iconic um, cover art for the Howling DVD slash Blu-ray, whatever. Um, original VHS, yeah. Uh, but this is for the board game. Um, I mean, maybe the board game will be worth checking out, but that's cool. If I'm going to get posters, I'm not huge into posters, but if I'm going to get posters, I mean, like this Howling one, pretty sweet uh like i was saying that necronomicon page one from evil dead slash army of darkness was awesome um so that's cool if i'm gonna get one that's a cool one i'm sure it was like some sort of promotional item that they worked out with those folks um the pop is in the way so i gotta do it and the bottom was like <laughs> this is a cool one um this is nice i didn't say an exclusive from entertainment earth exclusive blood splattered Ed from Shaun of the Dead as you can see blood splattered Ed. you can see the blood splatter on the side with the hand prints um, kind of hard here to see that he actually has blood splatter on like a shirt and the shovel in his hands and stuff but you probably can't pick up on that but he's got his I got wood shirt on he's got a shovel ready to kill some zombies all that jazz the, if you're an inbox collector, the box is a little messed up, but honestly, it's not that bad a shape. Um, it's in decent shape uh, for being shipped, you know, without packaging or anything. So, yeah, oh, that's cool. I like this pop. This is a nice pop. Um, this will go really well with the rest of the horror pops that I have. I like getting pops in these. Pops and mystery minis. Yeah, I like that. That's a good one. That's nice. I'm a fan. DVD? Always down for some DVDs. Uh, the Dark Tapes. Okay. It's by Epic Entertain oh, and Epic Pictures. I would say Epic Entertainment. No, it's Epic Pictures. Um, this doesn't surprise me. I kind of figured we were going to end up getting a lot more Epic DVDs because Epic actually, I believe, purchased Dread Central. I don't know if they purchased them or they just are financially backing them for whatever reason. I know Dread Central was having some issues, but um, as soon as that I heard that that happened, which I'm fine with, I was like, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing more epic DVDs showing up, which is fine because I'm always down to check out horror films. So this is the dark tapes. Seeing the truth has consequences, apparently. 9.5 out of 10 foundfootagecritic.com. I don't even know what that is, but it doesn't sound like, like a very reputable website. Um... So there you go, see it. Uh, is there any explanation? A horrifying blend of terror and mayhem which takes you on a twisted journey 
into the world of paranormal activity, demonic possession, and the supernatural. So I'm assuming this is one of those kind of found footage uh, anthology films in the same vein as like a VHS um, 1 or and I think they did VHS, VHS 2, and VHS. Uh, they did a third one that was like a web-related one or something. But anyway, um, that's cool. I'm totally down to check this out. Always like getting DVDs of movies I have not seen. And then we get, oh, that's interesting, a signed card by Joe Chinakis. Chinakis? I don't know. He's the guy who wrote the book Rabbit in Red. He's Horror Book of the Year author. That's cool. Rabbit in Red must have been pretty good. Um, I actually have this book, and interestingly enough, I have this book from Horror Block when I was subscribing to Horror Block. So it's kind of cool to have the signature of the author now to go along with it. I'll probably just like put this inside the book. I keep meaning to read it. I'm sorry I have not read it yet. I got it months ago. I just, with all my reading, you know. Um, and doo -doo -doo -doo. you can get a free digital download of Rabbit and Red. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm not going to show you the code on this because I think it might be the same code for everyone, and that's only something you should get if you're a Box of Dread person. So um, extra incentive to sign up. But this is good. I like this idea. Not just having the signature, that's just an extra bonus cool thing. But uh, the idea of giving books, but giving them electronically, it's cheaper for a lot of people involved in this whole process, but it's also nice because le reading things electronically is a much bigger thing now than physical books. Although I'm a physical book person, so I am glad that this is for one I already have. So, yes. Um, but anyway, um, once again, you know, this is a relatively cheap box, uh, 20 bucks total with shipping. So it's $14 and then six for the shipping. So, I mean, the fact that I got a pop, a DVD, uh, a digital book, and a cool poster, I mean, that's definitely the value. At least the value, you know, it's more than the value actually, because pops typically are at least like 10 bucks or so. And then a DVD, eh, you might be able to get this for less than 10, but around there. So value's good, um, the stuff is good. I mainly just get it because I always like, I'm always hoping for the pops or the mystery minis because um, I love horror mystery mini stuff and horror pop stuff. So at any rate, um, Box Dread, you did it again. John, good, good, good job. Two, two, two months in a row of a nice, uh, poster. You might get me rethinking my stance on, on not really liking posters <laughs> because you gave me two really good ones. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Thank you, John at Box of Dread for doing what you do and keep it up, man. I can't wait to see where we're going. I know you said something recently about some new exciting stuff about to happen with Box of Dread, so I cannot wait. Uh, but until next time, keep it brutal.